I am on my way to New York. It is like 8.30, my flight's at like 10.30, so I'm right around where I should be to get on this flight. I just wanted to check in, let you guys know, but um, this is my first time in New York, so I'm gonna be there. I'm sorry I'm not all happy and chipper and stuff, but I'll be happy later. It's just, I'm not really a morning person, so just bear with me. But like I said, on my way to New York for the first time. So I am now in New York. I know it's been a while since I talked to you guys, but I'm finally here. Like I said, this is my first time and Carol's daughter actually flew me out. So your girl got flewed out for the first time and I'm just a tad bit emotional. But um, it's actually the launch dinner. Is it launch dinner? No, it's the launch event today. So that's not until 5.30. I think it's around 2. So I have a little bit of time, but not much because I actually have to get ready. My hair is technically done because I just like my hair to be large and in charge. But I just got into the room and I'm going to give you guys like a little tour of it because I thought you guys might want to see. It's pretty cute too. Okay, so when you come in, you're going to see my luggage because I just got here. But the bathroom is is red and i like it oh and you can see straight through oh this is scandalous but i like it i really like that mm -hmm. and then you see that the overhead little shower head this is me we got the sink i just think this bathroom is way too cute and then we got a full length mirror because <laughs> You know the vibes. I'm in my official airport travel fit attire. You know you got the slide on shoes so you can just go through security like bam. What it is, what it ain't. And then slip them back on. So um, continuing on, we got this little area. I haven't even opened any of this stuff to be honest with y'all. Oh, it's a fully stocked mini bar and we love to see it. We really do. What's down here? Y'all, I still only got one shoe on because I am committed to showing you guys more of the mini bar. Oh yeah, this is nice. And then, you know, so you can put your stuff in and everything is safe. And then you come over here, we have the bed. Wow, I know, didn't see this coming. A room with a bed, out of this world. Then we have the TV over here. I'm seeing this as you guys are seeing this, so this is messed up, my bad, y'all. <laughs> And then we have a freaking big mirror over here. Can you say the selfies finna be fire in this dancery? And then let's not forget about floor to ceiling windows. So this is the outside y'all. I'm in New York City. Actually, when I got here, you know, I couldn't get into my room because my key card wasn't working. So I actually have to go downstairs now to try to get that fixed because I don't know the magnet that's supposed to make it work. It ain't making nothing shake for me and I'm gonna need that to happen. So I just dropped off my luggage. Someone came up here with me to get everything situated and then I'm gonna go back downstairs, get everything magnetized the way it should be so I can get into my own room. That would be really nice. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm probably gonna eat because I stay hungry. So I did something. Can you guess what the first thing I did was? Like, if you know me, pause the video, comment down below, and let everyone know what the first thing I did was as soon as I got here. I'll wait. Y'all, I ordered room service. So if you said anything about getting food, you are right. That's the first thing I did was order some freaking food because I'm so hungry. I ain't ate all day and I got a lobster roll with some uh, chips. They call them chips, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Oh, I love some good lobster. And then if you just scoot this on over, it's the chips. I really hope they're not spicy because I don't like spicy stuff and it didn't say that on the menu. But this, all me. That's all me. When you see this, you see me. All right, so boom, what's new? I'm running a little late. Actually. I'm still on time, but probably doing this vlog will make me a little late. Just want to show you guys the fit real quick. It's like casual, cute with a nice lippy. Turn to the other mirror, boom, and it's cold. So I got this jacket that don't really match, but it's fine. Everything is shaka. On my way to the vento. Look at the elevator, y'all. It just does this when you're going down. It's crazy.
exciting plan for you. We had one objective. We wanted to surprise and delight you. I have to tell you guys, I have been in this beauty game for over 20 years, and this is one of the most exciting launches I have ever worked on in my whole career. Miss Lisa Price, the founder of Carol's Daughter. I am Lisa Price, and I am Carol's daughter. <laughs> Let's wait and see. Let's see what happens. Remember I said we didn't rehearse this part? <laughs> Now you were telling me earlier how you felt about shampoo. So tell everybody else what you were saying earlier about shampoo. Yeah, I was talking about wash day um, and trying to figure out when is the best day to do it, especially using shampoo, because I know we do co-washes all the time and we're pretty confident in that. But when it comes to shampoo, I always felt a sense of uncertainty and trying to figure out, okay, so should I do this every two weeks or should I do this once a month? And so I really want to have a sense of security whenever I do choose to use shampoo. Feel it like move right onto your scalp. Your hair will get clean because you're going to agitate it and get the foam going and rinse your hair, but you feel it very targeted in your scalp and it's cool and refreshing, not in a minty kind of way, not that kind of cool, just like somebody poured cool water on your head. Rise and shine. Y'all, it is, this has to be a record for me. It is 656. I'm scared. I'm not a morning person. I ain't used to this, but the car is supposed to be coming to pick us up at seven so i really need to head downstairs if we're being honest with you but today is photo shoot day so i'm gonna try to take you guys behind the scenes show you guys a little bit what's going on but we are shooting all today and all tomorrow and that's why we gotta be up so freaking early they said to come barefaced like moi and they said we didn't have to dress in nothing cute so you know i'm regular regular some regular today i got my leggings on gonna put on some uh gym shoes and we're supposed to be doing wardrobe makeup hair the whole shebang makeup time so I'm gonna show you guys how it's looking when I get my makeup done but it's gonna be natural look so I'm excited I just finished shooting um, the wet portion and now I'm about to style my hair with the Carol's Daughters products I know this is a weird angle they're still shooting back here but yeah I'm about to style everything so see how that works. back from the shoot it is 7 12 when i first talked to you guys it was 6 30 maybe 6 30 7 o'clock in the morning it's 7 12 we just got back like i have not changed i have not done anything we just got back so it was a long day of shooting but it was good vibes everyone was just really nice it was really great vibes and i mean i wouldn't want to do it any other way if i'm going to be there for almost 12 hours so makeup on y'all i know i just went dark and then told you i have makeup on so i'm gonna show y'all so it is like a very light natural 
beat that we have going on here because I have like a shower scene and stuff like that so it is very natural I didn't do my eyebrows because y'all know I don't like to do my eyebrows if you don't know that by now I don't know what y'all do know so this is my hair it is a classic wash and go I really like that I was able to do you know kind of the normal Jalen okay didn't have to go too crazy with the makeup didn't have to get my eyebrows done was able to wear my wash and go which y'all know how I feel about wash and goes and this is just like super defined cute but also you know it's not a terrible gel cast or anything like that so I did want to show you guys that so I think right now I'm gonna go downstairs because they have like spiked hot cocoa downstairs and I want to be a part of that because after this long day I want to chill relax get something warm because it is cold in New York y'all so I want to keep y'all updated I feel like that's what I'm doing sorry if it's spotty here and there because your girl was running running and making moves and shooting and i want you over here i want you over here doing my hair everything so it got really hectic so i just want to let you guys know that we go into shooting completely bare face no makeup which is fine for me because there are people who are going to do our makeup my hair is already done from yesterday but i got my hair styled it's just a wash and go like it was before but it's a fresher wash and go and then we just come in like regular normal even less than normal clothes comfy clothes and then we change and we're gonna do the photo shoot so i'm gonna get into that i suck i'm literally so bad if you can even hear me because there are a whole bunch of people here my makeup is done like i have real makeup on guys like let me just go ahead because i don't think y'all understand i have makeup on it may look like a little bit of a cast because of this lighting but it looks good all right look at this i'm gonna i'm gonna fly away I don't wear makeup, so it's super weird for me, like I was saying earlier, but I want to vlog something. This is what I'm wearing. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror. This is me. Usually I'm wearing like some um, booties, but I just got my socks on right now because I'm not filming. I actually just got done filming some stuff. I think we have to change into outfit two and do some more shooting and stuff like that, but this is day two of the shoot. My hair looking good. I know y'all see that. <laughs> I know y'all see that. I don't want to smile. Hit him with it. But yeah, I just want to keep you guys updated and I'll try to take you guys behind the scenes, I guess, a little bit. I I'm trying. We've got healthy food if you ask me. I'm so not a healthy food eater. I really need to do better, but this is what I'm eating. It has um, shrimp, scallops, mango, cause I love mangoes, my favorite fruit, and cucumbers, and maybe like a couple other things, sesame seeds or whatever. Yes, sir. So we've been shooting all day, but it is time for my favorite part of any day it is time to go get food obviously clearly i am not dressed to go get food in my jeans and stuff like that but um i'm about to get ready we're supposed to meet downstairs in less than an hour i feel like this whole vlog is me just saying wow i'm so late and i'm not even really seriously a late person this is just wild but i'm gonna get ready i think i'm gonna wear like this sweater dress i'll try to show you guys the final look we're gonna do dinner with the carol's daughter team y'all it's been a long day of filming not as long as yesterday but still pretty long okay so i am pretty much ready to go you know what i'm saying i am gonna show you guys the fit as promised i got this sweater dress from akira also got the necklace from akira and then the shoes i really don't remember where these are from that's what they look like i know my feet are going to be hurting and it is definitely cold outside but that's not the point the point is i look cute and when you look cute you say f practicality now let's see if that still reigns true when I get home tonight, because I am going to let y'all know. I just kept on the makeup from the shoots. So, update. Heels have left the chat. I didn't even make it out to the car. Because I... <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this to myself. I refuse to do this to myself. I just know I'm going to be a total drag. Because my feet are going to hurt. And I'm just like, make this move now. Know yourself. And make a change you better make that change if y'all didn't see before these are the heels go to the side so i don't die this is what they look like cute totally matches the outfit but i just can't do it i can't do it let this be a lesson stay true to yourself stay golden i'm just going with the good old booties because this is practical call me practicality because that's my name
going to the Rose Mansion. We just finished having dinner. I think it's called, is it called Lamico? Is that how you pronounce it or am I pronounce? Okay, good talk because I'm like, I don't know what it's called. But we're just walking to the Rose Mansion and everything like that. So I'm excited. We are in the Rose Mansion on the elevator. <laughs> updated i just came back from the rose mansion we did have a lot of rose i ain't even gonna lie there were like eight different stations it was definitely an instagrammable moment i think it's something you only need to do one time it was nice and the wine was nice definitely not drunk definitely a little lit right now but not drunk i thought i would record me taking these eyelashes off i don't know what's gonna happen but you know i told you I don't wear makeup like that and you see I'm literally flying away. I have an early flight in the early morning. I mean, it's actually at like 11.40, but I gotta be ready and out there be and ready for the driver at 9.30. I haven't had much sleep this whole trip. I've had a blast this whole trip. Definitely would do it again, but I'm tired, boss. That's just the best way to explain it. I'm tired. Like, I want to, you know when you go on vacation, or not even vacation, you go on a trip, you come back from the trip, and you're exhausted. You feel like you need a trip away from the trip or a vacation away from the trip. Like, you're just tired. Not because you didn't have a good time, because I definitely did, just because you need to rest up and get your energy together. So, I'm just take off these little eyelashes. I say these little eyelashes, like, they ain't nothing, but... Ooh. I feel free, okay? It's so crazy what eyelashes can do for you because why? I ain't got no eyelashes. I ain't got no eyelashes. Ain't that crazy? Like, look at the comparison. I'm going to tune back in with you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna take my butt to bed. I'm so tired. I'm so, so, I'm beyond tired at this point. So, yet again, I am running a little late and I just woke up. As you can probably tell, and my throat is itchy a little bit. And I think my wisdom tooth is growing in, but I'm not complaining. That's just why I sound like crap. But uh, my driver is downstairs. It is time for me to catch my flight. I really enjoy taking you guys a little bit behind the scenes, showing you guys what's been going on. I really enjoyed it, and hopefully I can take you guys in more vlogs. Hopefully I'll go to more places. But New York has been a good time. I had a really, really great time here. That is my alarm because I didn't think I had to be up right now, but here I am. I'm going to go downstairs, meet the driver, and get on my flight and go back to Atlanta. Bye, y'all. I really hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.